right here. That almost looked like one right here with the way that texture looks. <gasps> Wait, yes, 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 right here. So right now it is early fall, late summer, and we're finally having our first fall weather day where it's not blisteringly hot out here. And a day like today is the perfect time to look for one of the most bizarre looking creatures you can find here in North Carolina. As fall begins in North Carolina, the trees are more than just a show of color. Underneath the changing leaves, a spectacle of bizarre insect activity starts to begin. As September looms, many species of praying mantis and katydid are reaching maturity and are going to be active in the arboreal environment. But this time of year also means the peak season for one of the strangest creatures you can find in the trees in the fall. That creature is the pine devil caterpillar. As you're probably aware, caterpillars are the larvae of butterflies and moths. And like their adult forms, they can take on a wide variety of sizes, colors, and shapes. This variety is not an accident. Caterpillars are rather slow, sluggish, and oftentimes kind of chubby herbivores. For many animals here in North Carolina, caterpillars would be a very tempting snack. So in order to survive, these animals have needed to evolve a wide variety of defense mechanisms. Some species of caterpillar have irritating hairs or even venomous spines to deter potential foes. Others prefer to use impeccable camouflage and a little bit of hope that their predators aren't going to look too closely. The pine devil caterpillar may be incredibly camouflaged in its arboreal environment, but it gets its name from its vast arsenal of horns. What I'm curious to find out today is whether or not these horns are just a show or if the pine devil caterpillar can actually sting a human. What I'm doing right here is I'm actually inspecting low hanging pine branches. These evergreens are actually the kind of thing that these animals are gonna be eating out here at this time of year. And they're super, super camouflaged. So I gotta look really closely or I'm gonna miss them. I don't see anything here. Or we're gonna keep looking. Pine devils are one of the few animals that can actually eat pine needles. In fact, that is their main diet. So my search is going to be limited explicitly to the evergreen trees that are all over my backyard. And I'm going to need to look very, very close because pine devils are impeccably camouflaged against the branches of a pine tree. All right, I got another little low hanging branch here. Looking. Because the problem is they look a lot like the uh, part of the branch that comes out and starts to produce the pine needles. Like right here, that almost looked like one right here with the way that texture looks. So I'm looking really, really closely. <gasps> Wait, yes, 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 right here. Oh, and it's a big one too. That is the pine devil. You'll see he's freezing up right now because I'm right in his face and he's like freezing up. I'm not a caterpillar, don't try and eat me. But he was probably munching. Yeah, I can see right here, some of these pine needles have been eaten down to the base. I don't know too many things that actually eat pine needles, but these guys do and it's really cool to see. All right, so I think the easiest way to do this, I'm gonna need both hands free is I'm going to break this branch off, present the caterpillar, and then what we'll do is we'll coax them off onto a new branch when we do the release. So let's do this a little bit carefully. I wanna aggravate those wasps. All right. We got them. All right, now this, is the pine devil caterpillar. And a caterpillar of this size, I had to guess, he's probably gonna become a pupa real soon. And these guys, you're thinking big caterpillar, big moth. 
these guys are actually going to become a moth in the family of the regal moths. Now, this exact species, interestingly enough, I've never seen the adults before out here in central North Carolina. This is actually one of the first times I've ever seen a pine devil in the wild. But these guys are super, super awesome, and they have that absolutely mental-looking appearance. You're probably wondering, do these guys sting? You've, you know, you've seen a lot of different caterpillars in the wild that do sting, especially like saddlebacks and a lot of slug caterpillars, but do these guys sting? That is an important question, and they absolutely do not. Those horns on them are hard and rigid, but you can actually touch them with no problem, and I'm not having any... Oh, he is... He is leaning into it a little bit. He's like, ah, I'm, I'm, I'm all horned. Don't touch me. But it's completely a ruse. This is not going to hurt you if you pick it up or touch it. And they're super cool to look at. Look at him go. Oh, look at him. Look at that. Look at that defensive move right there. This caterpillar is super defensive right now. You can see his entire face has been sucked in to the sort of like fat rolls that he has along his thorax. And his actual legs are all kind of up and curled in. What he's actually hanging on to this branch with are these pseudo pseudo legs. They're almost like these muscly suction cups that he uses to grip onto things. And if you feel, a lot of these larger caterpillars are packed with muscle. They are really, really strong. And when he's doing this little defensive thing, you just feel the muscle just rippling in his body. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible little find out here. And I'm so excited that I was able to share it with you. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take him off his little branch here. All right, buddy, come on. Come on off. Yeah, such a crazy grip on there. And then, now caterpillars can bite, so be really quick about this. Place him on a brand new branch. There you go, buddy. What an absolutely incredible encounter. If you like Can I Catch It, check out the link on your screen. I hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.